Hey, travelers! Another week, and Troy's here. What a surprise! They they thaw me out every once in a while. Yeah, I'm like right. I'm like, like freeze dry food. Yeah, yeah. So we got a lot to cover this week. Not only do we have three 12 ounce beers. Yeah, what's up with that? It's a pretty tame week, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just normally. Not it's... only do we have three 12 ounce small beers. That's... Only one of them is a high alcohol. So. Wow. Yeah. That's... We can actually drive home after this one. Tame episode. Yeah. No Uber for me tonight. Right. Uh, so we're gonna give a hot, another hot passport away. I know we said when we made it to 800 subscribers, but we came into some more hot passports. So oh, we're gonna exciting. give another way, not one now, and, and I'd then rather we'll give, give another one way. I'd rather give them away earlier in the year too, so people have the year to use them. Too. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. You give someone a hot passport in November, it's kind of like. Good luck. Right? Yeah. Good luck getting a bunch of those beers in. Yeah. But hey, it's free, so we're going to give it away. So Hot Passport, the Wisconsin one, is what we're giving away. So it's another reason to come to Wisconsin if you don't live here. Especially now that summer's on the horizon. Wisconsin in the summer is an idyllic place. Yeah. Really beautiful lake streams. We're, we're on the up yeah. right now. Yeah. We're, we're going to get into the we're 40s the this downwind. week. Because downhill's know. easier, but I guess temperature's going up. You know what? We're we're going to the better. How about that? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to give one of those away. And I know in previous weeks we talked about the Pablo Center and, and the event that we're doing there. Um, good, news, good news and bad news. Sold out? Yeah. Good news. We'll probably do more. Right. There'll be more coming down on the horizon, so yeah. stay tuned for that. There'll probably be a fall season. No, no guarantees, but that's the talk of the works right now. I don't know why they keep asking us back, but I'm glad they do. <laughs> At one point, I'm like, wow. I just assumed no one's going to show up every time. I figured nobody would show up. And I always assume people will show up, and then like five minutes in, be like, what is this? Yeah. And then they'll walk, you know. It was like Wayne's World when they thought that nobody was going to show up. Yeah, yeah. I was at one show. My my wife was friends with these more artistic folks back in the Pittsburghs. Sure. And we went to this one gal's performance art thing, and she walked the entire audience. They got to just me and stuff. Everyone <laughs> sitting there, and I'm like, oh, I would totally walk too if I didn't. If I didn't need to like maintain this relationship. And you were just envisioning that the entire time, like it's just like oh, the we're gonna are... we're gonna get up there, and people are just gonna start going. Well, I mean, I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. <laughs> But half an hour, forty five minutes into it, and you're like, "Oh, this is terrible." Not our, not our thing. No, I'm yeah, about he's, not, he's not talking. No, about yeah, our, our thing. thing is fine. I guess I don't know. People <laughs> you guys say are doing a really good job. Yeah, we're doing an okay job. Oh, thank, thanks, thanks, Alex. Really we really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's drink beers, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I know there was something else I was going to cover, but honestly, I don't remember now. That's part of part of me getting old. You just what is, eventually, eventually, you forget. What does someone have to do to win the pop passport? Oh, that's a great thank you, Troy. Thanks for thanks for being young and remembering. Really, all you have to do is comment. The same thing that we did before. Uh, comment, I want my passport, or comment, give me my passport. Damn it, Landon, or, or like whatever it is that you want to I mean, comment. Like, really, put some effort into it. Like flattery won't guarantee it, but it definitely won't hurt. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> like, your entry is going to get in just the same as everybody yeah, else's. But, like, you know, but, like, we but can, we like to be flattered. We can lie. You know? <laughs> We're not incapable of doing those sort of things. I was thing. pretty transparent last time about I it. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We could lie, though. <laughs> and be like, dude, somebody goes, you know what? You two make an awesome team. And be like, you know what? That's a, that's that's, a plus. That's really nice. I mean, it looks like he could fight a bear and try is about this close to being able to fly without any support. I mean, oh, that's a great. We're on the verge of having superpowers. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. You get two entries. Yeah, you get two entries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gave you guys a compliment, but don't let it go to your head. So yeah, you fair enough. Okay. <sighs> Let's drink beers. Um, yeah. So the first beer in the night is the Oatmeal Raisin Cookie from Cigar City. And if you're the one dude who's watched all of these, yeah. You will know we've talked about the Maduro Brown in previous uh, episodes, and we all know that I loved the Maduro Brown. Yep. So this is the Maduro Brown where they added more stuff to it to make it tasty. They Even put some more raisins tasty. in there. Raisins, lactose, and cinnamon, and to and to make the the Maduro taste like uh, an oatmeal raisin. Maduro already was a tasty beer. It was an English brown. It has a lot of toffee, like subtle kind of more English. Uh, Malt notes, a little bit of coffee, maybe just a little bit all in the. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't really. I didn't. There, there's not. You don't get a lot on the nose, and I wasn't really holding out hope because a lot of the time when somebody makes a cookie beer, 
Yeah. Does it taste like a cookie? Uh, That's a hard flavor I to mean, nail. Yeah, and I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This def- this does taste like an oatmeal raisin cookie. You know, and like oatmeal raisin cookie might be literally my least flavor favorite style of cookie. It's one of my favorites. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Like yeah. It. Right. <laughs> Why? It's like hey, we Alex. Put Alex likes it. Raisins. Yeah. What's wrong with raisins? Old grapes. Fiber. They're not old grapes. They're just dehydrated grapes. It's not like they just old let, dehydrated. It's like, the same it's result. Not like, it's not like they just let them sit around and go. Well, is not, it a raisin yet, Troy? Nope. You like wine? That's old grapes. Yeah, but that's grapes that has alcohol. So if they made raisins that were you know, that were fermented raisin, raisin wine, fermented raisins, you have there is probably an eighty percent better chance of me enjoying a raisin wine as opposed to just eating raisins. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, whatever. Coming back to this beer, <laughs> um, I think Cigar City in particular makes fantastic dark beers. Right. Say what you want about their IPAs. I like them, hate them, doesn't matter. But their their dark beers are some of my favorite. And my theory, and this is not substantiated in any way except for I drink a lot of beer, is that nasty water makes great brown beers. Like brown beers thrive on that kind of like English kind of brackish water, the Florida brackish. Which you would think. You know, I mean, I'm sure I mean, Cigar if, City guys heard this right now. They'd be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Our water's pure. I'm sure. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just used to. We're used to I, don't, like, I don't know. When you think Florida, though, yeah, do you, do you think, like, do you on, think pure water? I don't really think. But it makes for great brown beer. So yeah. we should, I mean, yeah, I don't have to, we don't have to go there and drink the water. No. But we can drink the drink beer. Drink the beer. Yeah. We yeah. have great water. We're in it's the Great Lakes region. We have the best yeah. water, you yeah. know? Uh, so yeah, I, I, my boss gave me a sample of this a while back, and I have since probably bought four or four packs, which. Me to repie a beer that much. Keep it coming. Almost yeah. never happens. So that's why I the think be- I still have one in my fridge. <laughs> that's probably one of the best <clears throat> endorsements I can give this is that I keep buying it. And it's only five point five percent alcohol. And that's when you know you really like a beer. When you when you have it's one of two things. When you buy more mm-hmm. or when you have a hard time not buying more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and so I'm, I mean, it's five point five percent alcohol, and I'm really not in a big. Uh, when I'm at home just drinking, I've been going for lower ABV beers. I just got a lot, you know. We all yeah. busy and yep. kids and you know things. Stuff. So what have you? Yeah, I've been enjoying the crap out of this one. So great. Vicky yeah. and I had some of this at uh, Northern Tap House, and we quite enjoyed it on tap as well. Yeah. Liked it a little better than the can I had in the can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, on tap. You, yeah, know. you get it on draft. You always get the. That's always the best way to experience the beer. Yeah. You know, the, every time beer has to go through something to get into something, you you risk just numerous flavor losses or infections. Obviously, there's no infections in any of these beers, but you just you know, you go through a process. You know, yep. so if you go straight from the uh, the the bright tank into a keg, bada bing, bada boom. But as soon as you have to go through a canning line, then it's in a can. You know. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have just a little. You know what? I'm not opening up another can. I'm not doing it this episode. (laughs) You open up all of them. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we have to worry about any live sugar in these things causing that. Okay, I'm gonna open up this. I'm gonna open up this next one, and if it explodes on me, I can't. I can't allow you to. That's on your conscience, not mine. (laughs) I'll probably sleep just fine, but yeah, no doubt. Yeah, (laughs) I, I wouldn't anticipate anything different. So this one's from Surly. It's grapefruit Surly. We did not have this when we were at the Pablo. Yeah, you know. Um, so grapefruit S- Supreme. I think Sorry. Surly does something very smart, and that's they put a bunch of new beers every year into variety packs. So thus, it makes you want to buy the variety packs because you can get stuff that yeah that's not on the shelf otherwise. And uh, they they learn through those variety packs what people like and don't like. It's a good way to kind of sh- uh, you know test market some beers. Sure. So last year this guy was in a variety pack. It did very well. And now this year it's coming back in its own twelve pack. What a deal! What a deal! What a deal! It's just a it's like a goza. It's a light tart. It smells like squirt. <laughs> yeah. That's not a, by no means an inaccurate description. <laughs> That's one. Of, that's one of my favorite soda pops. I feel like I'm at, I'm at my grandma's house right now, just crushing yeah, some squirts. Right? It was either that or drink Mountain Dew with Grandpa, but oh, I may be a Wisconsin but I can't. You know, do, it, it can't smells do more like squirt, but it actually does taste slightly like squirt <laughs> with alcohol. Yeah, yeah. No, this uh, is kind of an odd lineup if you look at it because we started with the oatmeal raisin, and now we're going to this. And we did. I did that on purpose just because I wanted to have a bit more. Uh, variety, but this is a yeah. 
Tastes like grapefruit, lightly tart. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's essentially the name of the beer tells you everything. It's grapefruit supreme. That tart. would be an amazing summer beer if we ever get summer again. Uh, it's coming. At least that's what they tell me. Sixty you know, degrees I, this week. <clears throat> now. Is it? It's going to be. Nice. That's what they claim. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Me and you both worked at TV stations. <clears throat> we know how weathermen lie out their butts, though. You know, and uh, I'll tell you all out there as we worked at TV stations, you know what the best thing to do? And I can say this because I don't work in TV anymore. <laughs> if the weatherman's ever wrong, just call into the TV station and complain about how the weatherman was wrong. They love that. <laughs> 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 or if you just want to ever have fun on a weekend, you're bored and... <laughs> Let's go pester the You know the what I'm going to do? I'm going to pester the weather At guy. this point, TV stations are like, someone's watching. Right? That's exciting. Yeah. We got a call. We got a call, guys. What a deal. Not a YouTube comment, but a call. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, they only get calls about Wheel of Fortune get interrupted or oh, yeah, you know, you something don't, like oh, that. God, you don't do yeah, that. Oh, you don't mess with oh. people's Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. That's Miss death. that Wheel Watcher of the Word or that, that Wheel Watcher Word of the Day? I remember a couple times when I was working at the TV station, I botched the show Inside Edition. Yeah, numerous times. People cared about that, or was it the insider, whatever, like the three thirty, like gossip? Yeah, inside edition. Yeah, yeah. Botched it numerous times. No one cared. Yeah, right. No one called. Never heard a thing. No boss ever told. Did me you anything. ever? Did you ever botch Wheel of Fortune? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not don't have a death. We watch. had we had a weather guy that cut in over Wheel of Fortune one day because there were tornadoes in the area that were on the ground. They were actually logical. ripping stuff up. Yeah, logical. Yeah, people called in and complained. Did it rip up a trailer park? Uh yeah yeah and uh and we had people calling in saying that they didn't care. It <laughs> wheel of fortune really brings out the worst in people. Yeah, something yeah. about that wheel, right? What is it? I don't. I don't know. I mean, there's not a whole lot of, to describe in the grapefruit supreme except that it's really refreshing and tasty. It, it's it's light. It's simple. If you like squirt, that's the beer for you. That would yeah. be a good beer to have like on when you're when you're throwing your cooler together for yeah. summer because yeah. it's kind of a palate changer. It's not tasting like beer. But sometimes you need that. It's that. a good. It's a good beer to uh, drink while you listen to yacht rock. What's yacht rock? <laughs> you don't know what yacht rock is? Do you think I know what yacht rock Come is? Come on, Troy. Is that what like? Is that like Bon Jovi <laughs> like on Jimmy a boat? Buffett? Oh, I was you like know? Bon Jovi on a boat. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know that. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm. I'm sure there's some John. I'm sure there's some Bon Jovi songs that you could consider yacht rock, but it's not. Uh, it's not his main stuff. But Jimmy Buffett. You know who Jimmy Buffett is, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You got Cheeseburger in Paradise? Yeah? No? Got nothing? I went to Margaritaville. <laughs> oh. <coughs> in Jamaica. Which, oh, of course. I walked down this, we walked down the beach to Margaritaville, and it was by no means a, a classy establishment. It was pretty rough. It's not supposed to be. No, yeah. Yeah. I was prepared for like corporate America. Like, you walk in, you're like, <laughs> that is not it. All right, let's go get a drink. We looked at the drink menu, saw the prices, and we're like, nope. <laughs> Goodbye. And we walked back to the resort where we had uh, all-inclusive. So. Did you go to Margaritaville in Vegas? No. No? I went to breweries in Vegas. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I went to a distillery there, too. <clears throat> I don't think the distillery was there when I was there. We we did a lot of Ubering. We probably spent like 60 bucks on Uber yeah. rides. Cheaper than a DUI. That's true. Okay, guys. Well, we got Central Waters. I this think. one I've been waiting to try for a long, yeah, a this long one, time. This one's been hanging out in my fridge for a couple weeks now in preparation for this episode. So nice. It's been hard to look at and not drink, for sure. Well, thanks for refraining. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it took all the willpowers. Yeah. Um, Central Water is a brewery in, out of the central part of the state of Wisconsin, if you're not familiar with the, the state. We've done an episode there. You should go yeah. check it out. Oh, yeah, you, for sure. It's, yeah. They, their dark beer, their barrel aging program is almost second to none. Like, they, they are un, unreal on how good they are. Especially for as small of a brewery as they are. I mean, they're... Yeah, they're not huge. I, they, uh, I, I think they distribute to, what, Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota... I'm not even 100 percent sure what their footprint is. It's not huge. No, yeah. it's not. It's not a really big footprint. And they're not really in a uh, a place that you would think would be cranking. Like, uh, was it Plover? No, they're not. Plover. No, no, no. Uh, it's by Stevens Point, Amherst. Yeah. Amherst. Yeah. Amherst isn't necessarily a mecca of like craft. I don't know that I've actually been in the town of Amherst. I've been to the brewery, and that's it. Yeah, I'm calling that Amherst. I also, yeah. I'm also going to say that their brewery is a prime example of like Midwestern architecture. It's like a shed. Like a really nice shed. 
Yeah, really nice. Yeah, and, that's run on solar that, power. That's like yeah. a lot of what Midwestern architecture is, just yeah. like really nice sheds. Yay, Midwest. We, we'll build you a shed. That they will. <laughs> yeah. We used to work for a guy. That's all he did was build oh, yeah, sheds. Yeah, he was a shed fanatic. Yeah. Yeah, the like, whole corporate office was a shed. What do you need? We won't even mention it. You need an office building? You need a church? Right. You need a school? Put up a shed. Need a need a corporate office? Shed. Just build a shed. <laughs> yeah. Need a distribution center? Shed. shed. <laughs> That's where he puts all of his robots in. Sheds. Uh, so, yeah, this has got real maple syrup in it. And uh, this is probably the highest ABV beer we're drinking today. It's 10.7. I got to admit, it's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. This guy's 6%. That was 5%. Now we're going up to the 10. It's also got a little salt in it. It does. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's a and it's a milk stout, so it's yeah. It is sweet. It is sweet, but the salt kind of helps on the finish. You know, I wonder if it's one of those beers that you let sit for a while. Mm-hmm. And and granted, Central Waters is is kind of that way anyway, where a lot of their a lot of their beers, uh, other than the IPAs, obviously. Yeah. You let sit around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Not that they're bad beers. You know, we, we we brought this up in the Pablo episode, but if if you don't want to watch it, we can cover it now. But, like, at one point in time, some of these barrel-aged beers, just generally speaking, were impossible to find. Right. And, like, it's crazy to think that you can go to, like, any store in the area and probably find a Central Waters barrel-aged something or another. Yeah. And it'd be this phenomenal beer, and it's just going to be there. Like, now it's going to be there in six months, a year from now. Right. Yeah. You don't have to... It, we don't have to wait for special releases anymore. You can just go buy a good barrel aged yeah, beer. Yeah. Not that this is barrel aged, but just central waters is No, a but it, it is a stronger beer and, and typically those that are that are I higher in A B V sit around a thousand dollars says they have this beer in a barrel somewhere. They might. In the central waters. It might just be yeah. for them at right. the tap room, but right. I guarantee this beer is in a in a in a barrel. Right. A little barrel aging might actually make this beer even better though. It is. It's. It's still a, a fine beer. Yeah, but because you know, it's so sweet, a little bit of like a bourbon burn to it would uh, would kind right. of balance cut, out. Cut some of that sweetness. I so yeah, it'd be hard to drink a six pack of this in one go. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Even even getting through a can of it could be. I little, mean, and it's my palate right now is just not in a sweet spot. But that, like something like that oatmeal raisin is a bit more crushable. But right. this is still. That maple can is just popping out of there, and that's, you know, we've done a decent amount of maple stuff on this show, right? Uh, so you don't need me to he- hear me say it again, but like maple's hard to work with. It, it was. Well, I, I would say the more essence of maple that you get in the beer, the better. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you just get like maple yeah, burn, right? Like booze burn from maple. Right. I feel like that should be a t-shirt, right? Maple burn. Beware of the maple burn. Yeah. Everybody's- uh I did think of one last thing before we go because Alex is telling me that it's close to be being time to go. Um, we're revamping our podcast. So in the past, we'd basically just use the audio from this and put it yeah. on the podcast. Lazy well, Man Podcast. Yeah, it's the Lazy Man Podcast, but we're actually going to not be lazy anymore. So what we're going to do is the podcast is just going to be like an extension of this vlog. So basically, we're going to Use it as a time to air our grievances, and it's like Festivus in a podcast every week. <laughs> yeah, we can. We'll probably won't be drinking as many beers, but we'll probably still talk no. about more industry. Yeah, and, and then we'll we'll cover. You know, we'll some do news. some we'll do some beer headlines and do all the uh, the funny stuff that we don't get to on on the vlog. So because we we talk about maple too much, right? We talk about maple a lot. On, I probably talk. We about- we digress a lot too, and. Podcast is really just a better place to digress yeah. forever because it's, you know. It's, if you ever watch a show and you're like, I wish I could listen to these guys just ramble more. Yeah, and if that's you, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I mean, thank you, but also. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, so remember, Hot Passport, we're giving it away. Comment below. Make it a nice, nice comment, and make sure to hit the bell. Alex, thank you. And then, of course, follow us on all of the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and, of course, right here on YouTube. We're ever so closing in on 1,000. You know what my favorite social media is? What's no. that? If you ever see us at a bar, talk to us. Yeah, talk to us because it's great. Yeah. So, anyway, we're getting the countdown. We will see you next week, everybody. Prost.
By now you've probably figured out that we like visiting different breweries, and we've been pretty vocal about one of our favorite travel companions, Hot Passport. When you visit any of the breweries highlighted inside, you either get two for one pints, or buy one get one. That means you only have to visit a fraction of the breweries we do to get your money's worth. Visit HotPassport.com to get one featuring your state today. Hot Passport. Don't drink without yours. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.